Hey, Steve, um, when when you're looking at ramping up Kevin's minutes, is it a just matter of these are the minutes we have set out? Are you looking at score? Like what what is that calculation there? Because when you look at, oh, well, you're up by 40, that'd be a natural time to take Kevin out. Well, what, what's the thought? Yeah, it's it's a tricky balance because he needs to play a certain amount of minutes for his benefit at the same time. You know, when the game's not out of hand, you're all, you know, you're caught. Like, do we want to risk him being out there at, at this point in the game? So in an ideal world, he played closer to 30 minutes or, you know, closer to tonight. But at the same time, he's out there at the end of the game when meaningless minutes, you want to be careful as well. So we're trying to find that balance. And uh, at least he had a, you know, a good game and got some minutes in his legs. Thank you. Welcome. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I, I got two for you. Just a, a dominant performance. I mean, you guys are moving the ball really well. You know, the assist numbers look good. The ball security was good. Is there anything in particular that kind of stood out to you guys about – stood out to you about how, how you guys played today? Well, I mean, the number one thing, I think, was we, we, we talked about having a better start. So guys came out of the blocks, you know, you know, focused and alert and trying to be physical from the start. Um, you know, I thought that was it. We just started with the right mentality and we went from there. So – the ball moved, which is good, but we were better defensively early with just our assignments and our attentiveness. And then just to even update on Chris. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, he, you know, it's, it's, unfortunately, he's definitely uh, heard it, and uh, but I'll have to wait for you know, the actual uh, diagnosis uh, when I get it. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, coach, two for you. Uh, the first is is a little bit of a, of, a, of a joke, but, you know, given that you lose Chris, you lose James, you're down Kyrie, do you feel like you could lace it up real quick and go help your team at the point if need be? Yeah, it'd be great for four or five minutes, and then the wheels would fly off all over the gym. So I think we'll save the world that, uh, that horror show. And, and, and quickly, second, can you just talk about the differences between LaMarcus and DeAndre and what you're able to get in each one that maybe you don't get in the other? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, DJ's um, a little longer, uh, a little more athletic. You know, he's more of a roller. Um, you know, uh, L.A. is uh, very skilled, stretched to three, good post-up player, um, you know, high IQ. So it just give you a little different profile. And, you know, we, we have a number of centers now, who, you know, big and small, who give us different looks. Lisa Salters with ESPN. Hey, Steve, long time to no see. Hi there. Um, I got you guys. Uh, hey, got gotcha, you uh, tomorrow. Just wanted to find out, will Kevin play tomorrow? Uh, and if so, will there be kind of a minutes thing for him? And also just kind of what the last kind of 48 hours have been like for you guys kind of caught up in this whole Minneapolis uh, mess. Uh, you know, we'll assess Kevin uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, but, you know, as far as uh, – you know, being here in Minnesota and in, in these times is obviously, you know, um, something that nobody wants to see happen. And so it's just been really uh, heartbreaking for us to know what, what's what's going on here and with the community and the family and that, that life that was lost. Um, you know, it's devastating. So it's 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 not a nice situation to be in for anybody. Uh, you know, we feel really badly for the family and the community. Ian Begley with SNY. Thank you. Steve, do you expect to have Kyrie in Philadelphia? And if not, do you, do you know when he might be back? Uh, I'm That's still to be determined, so I couldn't comment on that. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve, I think you guys have had more than a few games like this this year where you've been some shorthand, been shorthanded a little bit and, and gotten a great effort. Is it gratifying, reassuring, you know, to see that continue? Yeah, we've been really proud of the guys. You know, we've had a lot thrown at us this year. We've had a lot of injuries, constantly changing our lineups and rotations and combinations, and guys have stepped up many, many times this year and played the right way, played together, played hard, and gotten a lot of wins when we were undermanned. So proud of the effort. Tonight was another one where we took care of the task and uh, we're focused from the start and had a good performance. Last question, back to Malika Andrews with ESPN. Uh, hi, Steve. I was just wondering if the possibility is open for LaMarcus to rejoin you or if he's feeling any better if you've spoken um, with him. The possibility is open, but I, I'm not sure what the latest is. Uh, he's being monitored and trying to figure out you know, when he's ready to go, but uh, we have no determination yet.